Hey everybody, how are you doing? Are you ready to read a story? This is the tale of a tiny snail and a great big gray blue humpback whale. And this is the rock as black as soot. And this is a snail with an itchy foot. The sea snail slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships in the dock. As she gazed and she sniffed and sighed, the sea is so deep and the world is so wide. Oh, how I long to sail, said the tiny snail. And these are the other snails in the flock who all stuck tight to the smooth black rock and said to the snail with the itchy foot, Quiet, don't wiggle, sit still and stay put. But the tiny sea snail <laughs> sniffed and sighed. And then she cried, I've got it. I'll hitch a ride. And this is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail that looped and curled and said, ride wanted around the world. And this is the whale who came one night when the tide was high and the stars were bright. A humpback whale, immensely long, who sang to the snail a wonderful song. Of shimmering ice and coral capes and shooting stars and enormous waves. And this is the tale of the humpback whale as he held out of the starlit sea and said to the snail, come sail with me. And this is the sea, so wild and free, that carried the whale and the snail on his tail to towering icebergs in far off lands. With fiery mountains and golden sand. And these are the waves that arched and crashed and foamed and frolicked and sprayed and splashed the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. And these are the caves beneath the waves where the colorful fish with feathery fins and sharks with hideous toothy grins swam past the whale and the snail on his tail. This is a sky so vast and high, sometimes sunny and blue and warm, and sometimes filled with a thunderstorm, with a zigzag lightning flashing and frightening the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. And she gazed at the sky and the sea and the land, the waves and the caves and the golden sand, she gazed and she gazed, amazed by it all. And she said to the whale, I feel so small. But then came the day when the whale lost its way. These are the speedboats running a race and zigging and zooming all over the place upending the whale with ear-splitting roar and making him swim too close to the shore. And this is the tide slipping away. And this is the whale lying beached in the bay. Quick, off the sand, back to the sea, cried the snail. I can't move on land, I'm too big, moaned the whale. And the snail felt helpless and terribly small. Then, I've got it, she cried, and she started to crawl. I must not fail, said the tiny snail. And this is the bell on the school in the bay ringing the children in from their play. 
and this is the teacher holding her chalk, telling the class, sit straight, don't talk. And this is the board as black as soot. And this is the snail with the itchy foot. A snail, a snail, the teacher turns pale. Look, say the children, it's leaving a trail. And this is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail saying, save the whale. And these are the children running from school and fetching the firemen and digging a pool, squirting and spraying and keeping the whale cool. And this is the tide coming into the bay, and these are the villagers shouting, Hooray! As the whale and the snail travel safely away. Back to the dock and the flock on the rock, who said, How time's flown, and haven't you grown? And the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves and of how the snail so small and frail with her looping curly silvery trail saved the life of the humpback whale. Then the humpback whale held out his tail and on crawled snail after snail after snail. And they sang to the sea as they all set sail on the tail of the gray blue humpback whale. Thanks everybody. That was a great story. That was one of my girls' favorite stories when they were little. I'll see you next time until when we read another story. Bye bye. Love you.